with us today. I'm Hannah Powers. It's great to have you here on your Tuesday. I'm Lexi Moore. Well, happening now, friends, family, and the Low Country community are honoring Charleston's fallen police chief with a celebration of life. Law enforcement from all across our area have spent the morning as part of a procession bringing Reynolds to Seacoast Church in Mount Pleasant. And you're taking a live look right now from the church where the community has come to honor Chief Reynolds and his contributions to law enforcement and for the Low Country community. In a couple moments, we will listen into the service where dozens are expected to speak today. Chief Reynolds died last week after a battle with cancer. In just the five years he was police chief of Charleston, Chief Reynolds became a highly honored and respected figure in the community. Across South Carolina, there are memorials for Chief Reynolds today. And this is video you see right now from the State House, where Governor Henry McMaster has ordered that the flags will be lowered to half staff from sunrise until sunset for Chief Luther Reynolds. And right now, News 2's Raymond Owens is joining us live from outside of Seacoast Church in Mount Pleasant. And Raymond, earlier you watched this morning as officers escorted Chief Reynolds from the funeral home to there at Seacoast Church. Good morning. Yes, that, that actually just happened here just a few minutes ago. The first notice uh, we got that he was almost here uh, was we saw the Charleston County Sheriff's Office helicopter in the air and then a number of motorcycle units. You can see some over here to my left, um, a, a number of I mean, dozens and dozens of law enforcement motorcycle units uh, accompanied his, his hearse as it made its way here. Hundreds of police officers, not just from the low country, but from across the country are here paying their final goodbye to Chief Luther Reynolds. Now the funeral procession to this service went throughout much of the area that he handled as the police chief, much of the city of Charleston. It began over on Bees Ferry Road. Chief Reynolds' body traveled through West Ashley, across the peninsula of Charleston, and then across the Ravenel Bridge before making its way here to Seacoast Church for his funeral service. Now, several police chiefs are expected to take part in today's funeral, including the chief of the Melbourne, Florida Police Department, the Montgomery County Police Department in Maryland, as well as the chief of the United States Capitol uh, Police Department as well. So th th he just, uh, they basically just took him inside the church here just a few minutes ago. Uh, the service, of course, uh, getting underway as we speak. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Raymond. Again, when that service gets underway, we will take you inside with a live look as we continue to honor Chief Luther Reynolds. As you can see, people gathered inside getting their seats again. We will bring you the latest when that starts. Those moments when it leads into the celebration of life will give you the latest when that starts.